what's going to be the juiciest topic going around today, um, for sure, Devontae Adams, you know, he, in the post-game press conference, basically said he doesn't have time for a rebuild. Uh, that was the general gist of it. He said that he came to this team to win, not to wait for them to figure it out, basically. And the truth of the matter is he came to that team to play with Derek Carr, and then they shipped Derek Carr out. <laughs> and now mm-hmm. he's just stuck there, and he's started playing the season as like, oh, shit, I still am a top three wide receiver in the NFL. And maybe I shouldn't waste this season in Vegas on the Raiders, um, which good on him. Now, the first thought that people are going to have is the Chiefs, the Chiefs, the Chiefs, the Chiefs now wide receiver. The Raiders are not trading Devontae Adams to the Kansas City Chiefs in their division. So let's rule out Chiefs, Chargers, Broncos. That's all not happening. They are going to try their hardest to send him to an NFC team as well. They don't want to play him. Um, so, you know, that that's where my mind went thought process-wise. Obviously, if you think that it's not an NFC team, you could throw that out there. But then I started going through the NFC teams, right? None of the NFC East teams make sense. The Giants make sense in terms of they need a wide receiver, but I don't think he wants to go there because it's the same boat as the Raiders. Um, Then you start looking at the NFC West. The Rams are about to get Cooper Cup back. They don't really need a wide receiver. They have him and uh, Puka. The Niners, they're loaded. Seattle's loaded at that position. And then it's Arizona, again, same as the Raiders. So ah, that's out. You look at the... um, NFC South, you know, the Saints, if you wanted to play with Derek Carr, sure, but they feel like they're pretty strong at receiver. Now Carr's hurt. Buccaneers, strong at receiver. Um, Panthers, crappy boat. Falcons, that's a team that can make sense. Um, And then the NFC North is the division that makes the most sense to me. Vikings don't need them. Bears don't need them. But Detroit and Green Bay, uh, reunion back to the Packers, I feel like that is – You know, those two teams have done business before. That feels like the best spot, a team that's going to be a playoff team that needs a true wide receiver one that could really help uh, Jordan Love develop. You know, Adams has some type of repertoire with Jordan Love from practice, I'm sure. They've played together before. Uh, Then you have a receiving core of Adams, Watson as a two when he's back, Tobes, Musgrave, Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon with that defense. That's a legit team. That's a team that could beat the Cowboys in a playoff game. So, to me, the Packers make the most sense. What say you? Yeah, I, I was. So I have two teams. One was the Packers for sure. Um, for me, it just it makes a lot of sense. You know, he's a Green Bay guy. He probably misses it. Um, you know, and like you mentioned, Jordan Love was there. He wasn't like just on the. He's bench, got repertoire like, with those guys in the organization. You know, the GM. Yeah. He's worked with Lafleur before. The GM, the practice facility. It's, the yeah, guys, he's comfortable like there. His, yeah, so he definitely, I think, would be for that. Um, and then for me, it's a very interesting place, but I think it could work. for. So I think the Colts. I know you mentioned, you know, they're not an NFC team. Um, they're not yeah. maybe in AFC South, though. that maybe playoff mode this year. But if they got AR, Devontae Adams, with Jonathan Taylor possibly going into next Pittman's year. And Michael still there. Michael Pittman, like that, that's a solid team. And I know Jim say he's he's wild. So he definitely wants to maybe make a big splash. And I think with him on that team, that would help AR so much. And they'd be a, a decent team to like not mess around with, especially in that division, bro. Um, so if, I, I think that would be a really good spot. And I would love to see him in Indy possibly too. Yeah, I think uh, both those spots would be good. Obviously, you'll hear speculation of Baltimore, a team that could use a wide receiver. Maybe. Um, I it's feel like they, Baltimore. <laughs> it's always Baltimore when it comes to wide receivers, but it's never Baltimore that gets them. You could hear Cleveland, um, him and Amari Cooper potentially, mm. uh, especially now that Nick Chubb's out. Um, Cincinnati, no. Pittsburgh, no. Just running through these teams. Bills, Miami, no. Jets, no. Uh, Patriots, I mean, maybe, but please, Devontae, don't. Don't do that. Don't leave one Jimmy G for another. Um, like you said, the Colts, the Jaguars, I think that they're fine at weapons. Texans, they seem like they got a lot of wide receivers that they're trying to work out right now. You don't need to add to I mean, it's Devontae Adams. So you wouldn't say no, but and the Titans, no. So, yeah, uh, I, I think the Packers are the clear choice, but I don't hate the Colts' idea. 